Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And now, thank each of you for joining with us for Saturday's daily Bible study coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. We have a great and wonderful lesson for today. Israel, an example to us. Israel, an example to us. Come from 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, the 11th verse through the 13th. Amen. As we see and we know, Israel is an example for us. We are blessed that we have the repentance that we can turn to, to Jesus Christ. But if we don't, then we are in just as bad a trouble as they were in. Amen. So uh, we need to be mindful of, you know, how we uh, behave and how we handle ourselves and not assume that we have forever to get things right. Amen. We're going to get ready to move into our lesson, but first I want to ask if anything you see it touches your heart, soul, or spirit. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom of the screen below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, if you would, subscribe to my channel and join with us as we gather together to study and meditate on the word of the Lord. Amen. We're going to get ready to move into our lesson, but first we're going to have prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into no temptation. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Dear God in heaven, we thank you for all that you have done, you is doing, and you shall do in each of our lives. We thank you for being with us as we go up and down the dangerous highway day and night, Father. We thank you for being with us as we slumber and sleep in our in our beds and wake up us wake us up early the next morning in the mighty name of Jesus, with fresh and new grace and mercy for each and every one of us, Father. We thank you for all that you do in our life. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you uh, allowed your son to come down and, 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 and die for our sins, that we would have the opportunity for eternal life in him, in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you glory, honor, and praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as we go into your word, we thank you that our eyes is open and we see, our ears is open and we hear, and we gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Israel, an example to us. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 11 through 13. And the scripture lesson text reads, Now all these things happened to them as an example, and they were written for our admonition, abomination, admonition, I'm sorry, upon whom the ends of the ages have come. Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Amen. This is a wonderful and powerful statement that this lesson is making that even though uh, we run across many obstacles and, and uh, uh, tests that comes in our way, uh, temptations that come in our path, that God is faithful, that if we seek him in our temptation, that there is a way of escape. We just have to seek after it. We have to be willing because many times we are not even willing to try to get away from a thing that we desire or that we want. Amen. As we see the next three verses here, give the practical application of all the events that has happened. First of all, Paul explains that the meaning of these events is not limited to 
their historical value, things that happened long ago. They have a significant, significant for us today. They were written as a warning to us. Speaking of all the things that we've discussed throughout this week, they were written as a warning to us who are living after the close of the Jewish age and during the gospel age to us to whom the revenues of the past ages have descended. As Rendall Harris put it so well, they constitute a warning to the self-confident. Let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. Perhaps this refers especially to the strong believer who thinks he can dabble with self-gratification and not be affected by it. Such a person is in greatest danger of falling under the disciplinary hand of God. But then Paul adds a marvelous word of encouragement for those who are tempted. He teaches that the testing, trials, and temptation which faces us are common to all, to everyone. However, God is faithful who would not allow us to be tested beyond what we are able. Many times we don't even attempt to uh, go to the other, uh, uh, to go past the testing or go uh, 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 to stop the testing or to get out of the testing or to flee from the devil, as they would say, as the scripture says, and he is said, flee from the devil and he will, you know, flee from us. Is that he does not promise to deliver us from temptation or testing. Not saying that you're going to get out of it, but he does promise to limit its intensity. He further promises to provide the way of escape. Are we looking for the way to escape? Are we really looking that we may be able to bear it? Read in this verse, one cannot help but be struck by the tremendous comfort it has afforded to tested saints of God. Through the uh, centuries, young believers have clung to it, it, it as to a lifeline, and older believers have reposed on it as upon a pillow. Perhaps some, some of Paul's readers were being fiercely tempted at the time to go into adultery, Paul would comfort them with the thought that God would not allow any unbearable temptation to come their way. At the same time, they should be warned that they should not expose themselves to temptation. You, you, you don't uh, 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 allow yourself or put yourself in positions that's going to cause you to be in, 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 in areas that's going to cause you to be tempted more than you are able. Uh, God does allow for a way of escape, but you have to go for it. You have to reach out for the way of escape. It's not going to come to you and say, come this way. We have to go to it ourselves. Amen. This is a great and powerful lesson. As we have looked through this lesson throughout this week, we see that uh, Israel was just an example for us and that we should know that we now have uh, repentance to lean upon. We also have the blessing that God has given us that we have a way of escape if we will seek after it and lean on it. Amen. This is a wonderful and powerful lesson. I pray you all have a wonderful and blessed week. God bless you.